Today on 30A Misfits, we'll be touring Rosemary Beach. We start with breakfast at one of Rosemary's oldest restaurants, take an eventful walk along a 2.3 mile trail, <laughs> have lunch at a Seagrove Staples sister restaurant, all the cheese. grab some sweet treats to take home, oh, I already grabbed something else too, and share a romantic dessert before ending our day on the beach. I'm Erica, and this is David, and we are 30A Misfits, two transplant locals who love to adventure. Come explore with us. Where are we going today, baby? Rosemary Beach. Yes. You're excited about this one. Yeah, I mean, Rosemary, Be Rosemary Beach is a very beautiful, high-end area, and it's it's fun to explore. It's like entering into another world. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in Rosemary at all. Have you? I mean, what's a lot of, no. Yeah. I delivered groceries in there a couple of times. Drove my family around to look at the architecture. That's about it. Never really gotten out and walked around Rosemary. Yeah, back when I was in real estate, I occasionally do a house tour there, something in there unbelievable. Alice Beach or Rosemary Beach would be the most expensive neighborhoods. I'm not sure which one, but Rosemary Beach is bigger. That's yeah. for sure. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary Beach was named one of America's most romantic small towns, and it's easy to see why. Winding paths, cobblestone streets, and brick sidewalks make for a beautiful main street and town square. Rosemary Beach was born in 1995 with a development plan founded in the principles of new urbanism and traditional neighborhood development. The 107-acre Gulf Front development of Rosemary Beach was designed to bring back the notions of community, neighborhood, and convenience. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? We got matching uh, outfits. Yeah. Kind of a purple okay. and black. That's where we're going. Established in 1999, the Summer Kitchen was the first restaurant and commercial business in Rosemary Beach. Starting in their little red shack with just a walk-up window, they've now been serving locals and visitors for over 20 years. Okay, so there's a really loud fan behind me, so hopefully you can hear me. We are at the Summer Kitchen Cafe for breakfast. We're ready. Okay, for him we're gonna do a cinnamon bun and a side of sausage. And I'm gonna do the bacon, egg, and cheddar roll up. What's your name? Margo. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, this feels really weird to film in a bathroom, but I had to go back and get the camera to show you a couple of things. There's a Gaffrey painting. Justin Gaffrey has been creating textured palette knife paintings since 2001. Which is awesome. And then there's this picture of the original Summer Kitchen Cafe right here, this red building. And I believe that's the town hall or whatever it is in the center there. I just thought that was interesting. So I had to go get the camera and come back to the bathroom and show you, so. So it's loud in here. We're gonna do our best. I will subtitle it if necessary. Yes. Uh, Lord, thank you for this meal. Amen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> best hands I prepared. He got, Have to have a good day. <laughs> he got a cinnamon bun and a side of sausage, which looks awesome. And I got the bacon, egg, and cheese roll-up, and it comes with uh, home fries. So, let's dig in. Chewy, good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's smart. Sweet and excellent. I don't know why I don't order sausage more often than I do. It's a mistake. I've always been a bacon person, but as I get older now, I'm finding that it's hard to decide which one to get. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. 
the bacon. Ooh, nice. Are you jealous? No, but it's really good. <laughs> it's bacon. Yeah. Summer Kitchen Cafe has stuck around in Rosemary Beach for over 20 years, and we wouldn't be surprised if it stayed 20 more. If anyone deserves a perfect score, it's them. Crunchy. That was really good. Yeah, that was so good. I was a little upset uh, that I couldn't finish it because I got too full and I couldn't take it with me because we're gonna be here all day. Right, and it looks like it's about ready to rain. So we're gonna hold off for a second on our two mile walk and just assess the situation. Yeah, I think I have an umbrella in the car. We can check. Okay, in the meanwhile, let's walk down there. I love gas uh, lamps, and they are everywhere in Rosemary. <laughs> There's no one back there. They're everywhere around here. Is that it's Rosemary and Rosemary. It's Water Malone! Inside of Water Malone! It sure looks like it. Yeah. It does not smell. No. Here we go. We're gonna walk down Main Street one more time to get to the trail, the whatever trail this is. Yeah. We are going down here to start. Threaded throughout Rosemary Beach is a 2.3 mile network of footpaths and boardwalks that make up the Rosemary Beach Fitness Trail. Feels like rain. It's funny, it doesn't smell like yeah. rain. Erica's reading the map again. Shut up. Lord, we never want to turn around rain because rain is a blessing, but Delay it for a little bit. at least have us, or let, let us get underneath something when it does rain. Yeah. Do you want to read the map? No, baby. I mean. So we should turn right here, I think. Okay. Look at us. Aren't we adorable? <laughs> Beautiful architecture everywhere. Oh, that's just cute. Whoa! What? Look at the size of this thing. Oh! Oh my God! You walked right underneath it. Oh my! That's the biggest spider I've ever seen. Maybe jump up there next to us so we can use your no. face for comparison. Here, just to show you all how big this thing is. I mean, I'm right underneath it. It's gargantuan. That's the biggest spot I've ever seen. I'm not okay with this. Keep walking. Uh, We're gonna walk through it. Oh well, if we do. Sunglasses had to come off so I can see better because if I had walked face first into that, our day might have been over. <laughs> that, um, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Lana. Nope. Nope. This is cute. <laughs> it's so cool. Supposed to go that way, but I'm gonna go in here. It's a little wishing well. It's so cute. I'm not sure. Uh, it's over here. Go to the left. Go down all the way down and then go to the left. Okay. And it's very, oh, it's awesome. 
We'll check it out. It's really nice because it's filled in so perfect. All right. And it's still, and it's got a little plaque telling each part. It's on uh, the far street. Okay. All, all right. the way down. It's the Kingston? butterfly garden. It's just now filled in really, really nice. All right. It has it the butterfly bushes and it's filled in really great. Well, okay. Thank you. So thank you. Thanks. People always ask about these things and these cups. They take their cups, they're... Yeah, well, there was a chain on the other one. I don't understand. They're, they're, it's for water. It's just the it's just the way that it gives water somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having a big drainage deal. So it just like runs down the chain or the... Oh. No, well, look where it goes from the, the drain, you know. Oh. Down. Huh. And then... Well, that makes sense. They're just a cool kind of way to have water come down. Looks like it's getting heavier. It is getting heavier. It's really starting. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, There's a button. Yep, there you go. You okay, just let's keep... get underneath the. Uh, you okay? I'm fine. You just keep the camera covered. I don't mind getting a little sprinkle. Right. I'll go here. <laughs> thank you, whoever you yeah, are. Yeah, thank you, whoever you are. We're just uh, trying really hard not to get the camera wet. Um, we'll see what happens. Kind of snuck up on us. All right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna try this again, aren't we? Yes, and I'm giving you the umbrella because the umbrella is not for us. The umbrella is for the camera. Gotcha. This is what we call a Florida afternoon shower. Only it's not the afternoon yet. It's just a little off. Uh, off schedule. Ooh. Oh, it's a little doggy ball. Oh, is this part of the fair? Did we go the right way? I don't know, baby. You got the map. Okay. I think we weren't supposed to come down here. I think we were supposed to keep going straight. Okay. This is a doggy park down here? And yeah. it's not supposed to go through there, are we? No. That, that, I think that's a dog run from the small dog section to the big dog section. Okay. All right. Back up. Back up. That was cool, though. Soaking wet. Let me see the thing. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. Uh -oh. <laughs> that. We found some amphitheater thing that when it stops raining, we might explain a little better where we are. But uh, we're going to chill for a second. See if it lets up again. One of the things we're trying to do with this YouTube channel is to keep the local culture and community alive here on 30A. So far this summer, we have over 15,000 views but only 230 subscribers. That means the vast majority of you watching right now aren't subscribed. What are you waiting for? 
Please subscribe, click the bell, the like button, and comment to help us promote the culture of family and love here on 30A. Thank you so much for watching. Now, back to our tour of Rosemary Beach. All right, we're heading to the next place. We're at the next stop. If we get caught in the rain again, we get caught. Yep. And what do we do? We'll figure, we'll figure it, out. it out. We'll figure it out. This is now our map. <laughs> but again, we'll figure it out. It is sunny and it is raining. And I have all the confidence in the world in her. Well, I don't know if you should, but... I don't. <laughs> As we all know, I am navigationally challenged. I haven't seen any of those posts anymore. But somehow, I keep ending up being the one in charge of the map. Wow, look at that porch up there, baby. The what? Look at that porch. Oh, wow, it's huge. Three recognized species worldwide. This actually spider people often see in Florida and they show up in bananas. Did you know that? They're actually also known as the banana spider. They've been transported into the United States through shipments of fruit. Oh, are those so the banana big. spiders or whatever they're yes, called? Yes, those are banana spiders. We did it, baby. We did it. We are back at the beginning. Two and a half miles. What time is it? I don't know. My watch is dead. I guess it's time to eat lunch. If you watched our second Seagrove episode, you've seen the original Cowgirl Kitchen. Today, we're going to their sister location, opened in 2007, just two years after the original. And since they have different menus, we'll still get to try something new. We're in the Cowgirl Kitchen. It's kind of weird because I have bright orange hair sitting around, you know, six other people who are probably <laughs> staring at me because I'm talking to a camera. But we're going to share a corn elote corn dip and uh, then we're going to have a pizza to go. We'll be back when the food's here.
think this is to help. Start up, sir. Okay, so in full transparency, we didn't realize this dip is also available at the Seagrove location, but after the esquites we had in Seacrest, we had to get it. We are also getting pizza though, something the Seagrove location definitely doesn't have. Very happy. Do whatever you need to do. I just want to make sure she's building a house. What's your name? Where are you from? Michael. Holly. Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. Thank you. Here, I'll put it over here. Yeah, we. Cowgirl Kitchen and Rosemary is a whole different world than the original in Seagrove. We definitely enjoyed ourselves, but it's not a place we can see many locals just hanging out. So we're placing them just in the middle of the tourist end. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, Erica. Hey, baby. Hi. We got a one bite review. One bite, everyone knows the rules. We're coming from Cowgirl Kitchen. It's a uh, uh, cheese pizza, it's small. I think they said 11 inches. Yeah, 11 inches. You got everything? Pay attention to what yeah, you're doing? Yeah. All right. Cheese pizza. Good Chris, don't need to wait. We did get rained on today. I'm maybe a little west. My hair's not usually as good as it usually looks, but we'll make it work. All right, one body, one knows the rules. No flour. It's got a funky cheese on it. Five four. That's a review. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I hate to say this, but it looks like like Disney pizza. Yeah. Like theme park pizza. Yeah. Go ahead. After exactly what it is. Mm. It's not bad. When I see a crust this thin, I really expect. Maybe crunchy. because it was sitting in the box. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but just I got really excited when I saw how thin the pizza was, and then for so it not I. to be crunchy. Kind of like bar pizza, but it's not. It really is like Disney pizza. Yeah, well, what it's would good, you give it? What would you give it? Uh, I think I'd go a little higher than you. I think I'd say 6'3. I mean, what? Well, would Not you ever get that again? I'd probably try one of their specialty pizzas now that I know what to expect. Because right. I don't think it's bad. However, that corn dip? Yeah, the corn, <laughs> dip, the corn dip was on point. The corn dip was fantastic. Sugar Shack was originally built in a small shack on the north side of 30A. But in 2008, it moved to its current home on Main Street. Previously owned by Tanya Colley of the Candy Bar, Sugar Shack has been a family favorite from the beginning. Do not stand or sit children on the counter. Does that happen a lot? <laughs> I feel like it does. Don't oh, forget yeah. the candy, honey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are at La Crema. 
We uh, are gonna get our chocolate fondue and then we'll come back. We have already been gotten onto a little bit for uh, cameras, so we're trying to be sneaky. So we'll be back in a minute. Crema Tapas and Chocolate originally opened in Rosemary Beach in 2009. Building on the concept of tapas and chocolate shops that have become such a popular part of the food scene in Barcelona and Madrid, the menu features a selection of small plates and what we're here for, chocolate desserts. How is it? Really rich. Yep. La Crema had a fantastic chocolate fondue, but they have so much more to offer and we really don't feel like we experienced enough to rate them fairly. So I guess we'll just have to come back again on our next tour of Rosemary. That was a big marshmallow. Oh, right? Mm -hmm. So, Rosemary is also a private beach, like Alice. Not like Seacrest, because we can actually see the beach like we could in Alice. There's just a gate. However, some very good friends of ours helped us out a little bit, so... Very pretty. All those black and white umbrellas belong to the hotel right back there, the Pearl. Resort, hotel, whatever. The green ones are somebody too, but I'm not sure. Good day. Great day. Bye guys. Oh, in the beach next week. In, in the, the beach. beach next week. This is where we got married. stuff is grass. <laughs> well, by golly, Bob, I think you're right. Cut you down the sides. I want to feel the heat. And uh, it's, 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 you know, this is the Alice Beach or Rosemary. <laughs> 